all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Uh, today I'm filming part 10 or G, part 10 G I think it is, of my KonMari declutter. We're still working on cosmetics! Good times! Yeah! Um, so, uh, one thing I should mention, I've got my heater on, so if you can hear that noise in the background, it's my heater. It's freezing. Please forgive me. Um, <laughs> I don't want to sacrifice my warmth uh, just to film this video. So it is what it is. Um, so this stuff down here is everything to do with lashes and brows. So I've got um, eyeliner, mascara, I've got brow products, I've got lashes, I've got lash glue and I think that's that's everything. I didn't realize like how much of this stuff I had but I will say the boxes for the lashes make it look a lot bulkier than it is I think. We'll see. Alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this all out the way. I'm gonna sort of put it into categories and then we're gonna go through it. Alright so I've decided to start with lashes because they're kind of bulky. Um, what have I got here? These are Revkin Professional Makeup Lashes. These are a Korean brand. Um, I'm going to hold on to them. Now, something I should probably mention with my lashes. Um, if some of the lashes aren't suitable for me, I will likely put them aside and put them in my freelancing kit. I think I will declutter my freelancing kit at some stage, uh, maybe after I've done the rest of my beauty products, I don't know, um, but yeah, some I will not use myself, but I will keep, they'll go in my freelancing kit. Anyway, I'm going to keep these ones for myself. Um, these are from Daiso, these are cute. Uh, they actually have a holographic glitter on the lashes. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Can we... Oh, there. Can you see that? So, they're cute. Um, I will keep them too. Uh, these are little, like, little bits that I cut off a pair of lashes because they were too long. I'm going to get rid of that now. That's, that's okay. We can pass. Um... These are Ardell Glamour Lashes. These I will likely put in my kit. Uh, yeah, I will put that in my kit because the lash glue is handy as a just-in-case item. Um, I wouldn't wear them myself though. These are Revlon Beyond Natural. These do not look Beyond Natural. These look, these look a bit rough. Um, I, d d d you know, I'm going to put them in my kit. Um, the thing with lashes is, I I don't feel like these are going to be, I don't know, they look a little bit plasticky to me, so they might not even be suitable for use. Um, but I don't, I don't want to touch them until they're potentially going on a client because... Like I don't want to, I don't want to put my dirty hands on them. Basically, um, so I'll put them in my kit. I might end up having a client who I think they could work on, um, and then when I actually open the packet, I will make the judgment call then. But yeah, I, I don't want them for myself. Here I have a bunch of little tubes of eyelash glue. Um, I really like these. Typically. I can't go through a full tube of duo glue, so I hold on to these, um, I open them as I need them, and yeah, they last me just a few, few uses. Typically I get about, you know, maybe 10 applications out of a tube, which is plenty. Um, so yeah, I'm keeping them, they're handy, I like them. Alrighty, here I have some individual lashes. Um, these are actually taken out of my kit, uh, when was it? A couple of months ago. I was doing makeup for a friend, special occasion, um, and I just didn't put them back because I'm lazy, I suppose. Um, I'm going to hold on to them. I don't, 
I don't mind using individuals on myself. Typically, I don't have time to apply them. Um, I mostly like to use them on other people because they they give beautiful results. So they're going to go back in my freelancing kit. Alright, I have some Daiso lashes here. I like all of these, to be honest. Um, these ones can go... I've lost one of the little pieces, like they're uh, Demi lashes. I've lost one of them. Uh, there is still a pair in there that is good, but I have worn them quite a few times. So I think it's, it's time to let them go. Um, these ones, on the other hand, are all new. They're both new packets so um, I'm gonna hold on to them I like Daiso for subtle lashes um, and they're actually not that bad quality to be honest all right I have three pairs of Eyelua lashes here um, I think I think I could really wear um, uh, eh. Alright, I'm going to hold on to these two for myself, these two, and I'm going to pop this pair in my freelancing kit. Revlon Lash Glue, I'm going to hold on to that uh, just more as a just in case, like for my freelancing kit, um, it's not open, it's still new, so no point in throwing it out there's a possibility I will need it in the future all right I ha have a pair of wonder lash lashes here I'm gonna put them in my freelancing kit I have a pair of thousand hour peekaboos these are also going in yeah a freelance kit oh Daiso, Daiso lashes. Uh, I'm gonna keep them. I like them. I bought them for myself. I actually, this is one of my favorite favorite pair, the number nines. They're a three quarter lash, which means they actually fit my lash line like a full bar lash. So, uh, yeah, I really like them. And these are just like sort of mass produced off eBay kind of things. And I bought these more as like, all right, let's let's see why people rave about these sort of things on YouTube. And they're actually really fucking nice. I mean, they're synthetic, but they feel beautiful. They wear comfortably. They have a clear band. Um, the lush like placement is really well done. These are fantastic. Really, really good lashes. Um, I I would buy more of these, and I continue to wear them. Uh, I actually cut them in half too because I have small eyes, and I'm a weirdo like that. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to liners, but I actually found this. It is a paint pot in Painterly from Mac. Should have been in my eyeshadows, which was last week's video technically, uh, but I I didn't realize. That it was a paint pot and not a gel liner so yeah it ended up in here um i am going to keep it regardless but you know let's be accountable for all the things all right so i'm gonna oh i've mm, i've got i've got a thing with the pencils and the pens there's quite a few of them mm. Alright, so this is, oh wow, this is a thing. Um, okay, I don't know how to do this. Let's start with these two, which are new. I've got a Hyper Sharp Wing Liner from Maybelline and a Rimmel Scandalize Precision Micro Eyeliner. They're brand new. I bought them recently at Priceline, I think. Um, I'm keeping them both. Alright, so I've just pulled a bunch of um, brow pencils out of this. I didn't realise they were in there. Uh, anyway, we'll get to them later. But I did pull out three pen liners that I'm currently using. This is the Rimmel Colour Precise Eyeliner in blue. These are new. Um, 
If you like blue eyeliner, go and buy one of these. I freaking love it. It's amazing. I will say that the tip does have a bit of a tendency to dry up while you're using it. But if you like put the cap on, turn it upside down and shake it, um, it revives the nib. Absolutely amazing. Current favorite. Love it. Um, this is a Master Precise Liquid Liner by Maybelline. I really like these. Um, I just opened it in the last, I don't know, sometime early this month, I think. And this is the Essence Good Girl, Bad Girl, Multi-Style Eyeliner Pen. This is one of those three-prong pens. Um, when you use it as a three-prong, it can be really difficult to get, like, three lines out of it and when you use it just as like a single line it's not it's not great I didn't I didn't like it I'm gonna get rid of that one all right here I have three um, like liquid in tube type things I've got face of Australia liquid eyeliner I have a thousand hour express lash grow liner in brown and I have a Shuamura uh, I can't remember what you're called. It's, uh, I don't know. It's an eyeliner and it's called Champagne. This is like a glitter eyeliner. So, I am getting rid of the Face of Australia one. Not interested. I like this Thousand Hour one. I used this religiously for months. Um, and I think I might have another go at it. It really feels like there's not much in there. This Shuamora one, I do want to check that it's not dried up. If it is, I will be annoyed because it was expensive and I hardly used it. Looks pretty good to me. Alright, I will be keeping the Shuamora because I like it. I actually got it um, December. December last year. So it's not that old. Alright, so I think what I'll do is pull out black pencils. Um black 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 are you black oh god if i can no you're not black uh black and black all right so what have i got here six pencils six pencils brands uh this is a pop beauty uh i got this in was it the maslow box I don't know. I got it out of a beauty box. This Flormar one, I am keeping it. I don't know if you guys watched my last declutter. I said Flormar makes amazing products. This is an amazing eyeliner. I am keeping it. I don't even care. Um, what else have I got? NYX, Thin Lizzy, Max Factor, and Inica. Okay, so the Inica is brand new. Oh, I haven't tried it before. I don't know... Would I like it? Would I like you? Uh, I think. Alright, let's let's think. Let's think. Let's think. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the thin Lizzie. I can do that. I'm gonna get rid of that that one. The Kajal uh sorry, pop cosmetics or pop colour or whatever. Um the NYX. The NYX. The NYX. Um, I don't know. Max Factor. You know what? I'm going to keep the Max Factor. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to get rid of the NYX. I'm going to keep the Unicart and try it. Alright, these are my coloured liners. I'm just going to sort of go through them and swatch them. This is Beauty People Miss 100. Whoa, yes. I, these Beauty People liners are beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see the pink there. Um, the formula goes on like melted butter and I love them. Alright, I'm keeping them. NYX Wonder Pencil. Really like this. This is probably the first like skin coloured liner I've used that I actually like. Definitely keeping that. This is Savvy by DB. Um, oh, can you not? Look at that. Look at that green. Yeah, I'm keeping that. Um, this is the Yeon. This is a 
liner and eyeshadow duo. Um, that's a beautiful bronze. That's like a almost copper bronze. Like there's gold. Let's see. Let's see if we like this shadow. Pinky shadow. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that. I might try and pan that in my next um project pan. See how we go. This is a re-re pencil. Wow. That is is yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Can we wind you down? Apparently not. Apparently we cannot. Oh wait, there we go. No, maybe not. Maybe oh, here we go. Alright. Don't know what happened there. Uh doesn't really matter because it's dry as fuck, so not going to keep that. Did I have another one of them? No, I didn't. This is Shara Shara. I want a pencil. Alright, let's see. No. I don't like it. The formula is like hard. I hope I was in view when I was swatching that. Um, Alright, I have two more floor mark pencils. This is in gold and ultra copper. Uh, let's make sure I'm actually in the view here. These are beautiful. If you want like full on metallic liner pencils, they're the way to go. Keeping them. This one here is LA Girl Glide Gel Liner. Alright, let's try this. It's not bad. It's a pretty colour. Uh, I'm going to hold on. Oh, you don't. Why? I hate pencils that don't. I like mechanical pencils. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, another LA Glide coloured pencil. This looks like a purple one. That's pretty too. Let me keep that. Ah, here we go. I did have another Riri pencil. What is this? Can you see that? What the fuck? Can you not? This is strange. Alright. Um. Oh, it's so hard. Yeah, that's no good. Uh, Savvy by DB. This is a white pencil. Um. Let me compare it to this gorgeous cosmetics one. Uh, they're pretty much the same. The gorgeous cosmetics one has um, a bit more of a creamy tint to it. Um, <sighs> it's ridiculous, but I'm actually going to keep them both. And I'm keeping them both because white eyeliners are handy for special effects. They're both different enough to do different things. So, there's that. Um, this is a MAC. God, this is so old. This is kind of embarrassing. It's a MAC pencil. It's in gold. But look at that. Like, how did the formula on these stay so good after so long? I just don't get it. Um, I do have two more MAC pencils. How do they stay so good? Look at that. You know what? They don't smell. The formula is soft. I'm just going to keep them. If I lose an eye, it's my own damn fault. I don't care. Uh, this is a Clarins eye pencil in plum. Whoops, wrong end. That's beautiful too. Um, I actually typically use this as a lip liner. Uh, it's meant to be an eyeliner, but whatever. Uh, keeping it. And this is a, this looks like it's been broken at some stage. Uh, Maybelline Color Show. Yep, in no colour. I don't know. Let's see. Um, you know, that's a shame. It's a really pretty colour, but it kind of goes on a bit sheer. Um, 
there's not much in there I might try and pan that yes that's what I shall do all right here I have things like gel liners basically cake liners um, this is not either of those this is a uh, Colca gel smoky eyes ultra black effect from Flora. I love these guys um, it's one of those dudes I haven't used it much but beautiful soft buttery pigmented gorgeous 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 right there because I know I keep swatching these outside of the viewfinder I'm sorry I'm sorry uh, I'm gonna hold on to that now what have I got Inglot Duraline if you use gel liners and you have a problem with them drying up then you need to buy Duraline it will revive them um, I'm going to keep that obviously I have um, this is a gel liner it was a sample oh it looks pretty dry oh no huh. uh, it was a sample out of something some sort of goodie bag um, I'm not going to hold on to it doesn't really look pigmented enough for me so we'll get rid of that one this is a cake liner by Revkin uh, I why do you feel wet shouldn't be wet um, I I typically like to use cake liners in my kit um, but they're no good for anyone who is potentially going to cry and since most of the work I do is, um, you know, for brides, bridesmaids, friends going to weddings, friends going to special occasions, mother of the bride, they're notorious, um, they're, you know, these aren't really great when it comes to a potential crying client. So I'm actually going to get rid of that. I'm going to say goodbye. Uh, I was keen to try it, but I don't think it's going to be suitable for me. Um, and now I have gel liners. Gel liners. All of the gel liners. These are my favourite types of liners. So, all time, favourite, holy grail, never be without, love it to the day I die. Bobby Brown, long wear gel eyeliner. I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea. This one just works with my skin the best um, it stays on forever like actually it will stay on forever if I don't physically wash it off then it will stay on until the day I die which is great um, and I love the pigmentation beautiful black lovely 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 uh, I think this one might be new yep brand new uh, so keeping uh, I've got black track now I like black track I really do you can probably see there I have can we see there I have almost cleaned that out I am I'm really not that far off pan um, not my all-time favorite but definitely a good product will be keeping I have dip down by Mac I have black ivy I have nightshade I have rich ground and I have copper thorn these are all gel liners and while some of them are no good for actual lining um, they do make good eyeshadow bases or they make good bases as a liner for a pigment over top so I am keeping them all uh, I, I do like them all for different reasons yes alright so <clears throat> these are all the mascaras I currently have open um, I am not the type of person to have more than one mascara open at a time unless I've been sent one to try. My current trial mascara is this Rimmel Volume Colorist uh, Extreme Black. This is the one that's meant to tint your lashes. Um, I have done a blog post on this as well as that blue liner that I showed you guys earlier, the new Rimmel one. Um, I like this I do like it I don't feel like it tinted my lashes but as a mascara it is really nice I do like it I have had it open for 
probably two months now uh, or coming up to two months so I'm gonna keep going on that because I do love it uh, this is a bow beauty volumizing mascara not really a fan I mean if you're in a pinch and you've only got a few bucks or you don't want to spend a lot of money on a mascara fine go ahead um, it'll definitely do the job but you'll see I have I have enough mascara like I don't I don't need to keep something that I'm not desperately in love with or desperate to try Mix La Fru Fru mascara um, first time I opened this I was like wow this is really dry um, kind of surprised me no good for my top lashes doesn't really do anything but amazing for my bottom lashes so I'm gonna hold on to that uh, these two I've got Maybelline Lash Sensationals I've got the waterproof and I have the standard version now the standard version I have had open for way too long so I'm gonna get rid of it I'm honestly I've been using this and I'm like will you just die you need to stop being full of mascara because I feel like I've been using this forever and it just would not stop so I'm going to get rid of that it will go in the bin uh, and the waterproof one um, I actually bought this for my dad's funeral so I haven't used it since uh, oh no I have sorry I accidentally because they look exactly the freaking same um, I've picked it up by accident one or once or twice but I haven't purposely used it since um, but I've had it for a very long time so I need to get rid of that one all right let's do like brand new mascaras mascaras that have not been opened and we'll just pull out a few here so I've got a Mac false lashes never tried it keen to try it keeping it uh, benefit they're real this is one of my all-time favorite holy grail mascaras I know it's not everyone's cup of tea it's all right you're allowed to like what you whatever you like you're allowed to like it um, I personally love this I'm gonna hold on to it I have the Rimmel volume flash scandalized mascara um, I am going to get rid of this one I kind of wanted to try it but I would like to get rid of at least like one unopened mascara and at the moment it's this one so there we go um what have we got what have we got this is love alpha transplanting gel and natural fiber mascara lengthening mascara thingy um i would like to try this get them out of the way i'd like to try this so I'm going to. I'm going to hold on to it. I might actually try and open that soon, give it a go. So if it's crap, I can just get rid of it. Um, Arbonne, it's a long story mascara. I would like to try this. i got to admit, like, I'm kind of curious about the whole Arbonne thing. I, I was actually given this by a friend who does Arbonne, and she knows that I am you know I, I don't want to hear about it because I hear about it everywhere and I see it everywhere um, but I am curious she gave me this all of my Arbonne samples have come from her all of my Arbonne cosmetics um, so she gave it to me I'm going to try it I'm going to at least respect her you know and thank her enough by giving it a go um, so yeah we'll we'll try uh, this is the cheek room mascara Curl and long lash. This is Korean. I'd like to try it. Uh, I have another Korean one. This is from Dadang. It's a lovely girl mascara. And while we're at it, I actually have a couple more Korean mascaras that I'm just going to pull over here. So I've got the Ladykin um, at the party long and perm mascara. This one here is the Goodbye Black Smudge Waterproof Mascara. I'm going to definitely keep the waterproof one because I'm pretty sure it's the only waterproof mascara that I will have since I got rid of my Lash Sensational, which was definitely not suitable for use. So I'm going to hold on to that. Uh, this is the Revkin Volumizing Mascara. Um, I kind of want to try all of these. Mm. You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna keep them all. I'm gonna keep them all because I want to try them and I can. 
Um, all right, let me pull these down here. Alrighty, what do we got? What do we got? So this is Magnafiber's treatment primer. Uh, it is a. I don't even know. What are you? Treatment primer. Lashes look longer and feel thicker. All right. Where did you even come from? Sometimes I, I forget. I dead set forget where I get things from. Um, anything that's sent to me for trial purposes, I keep aside. But. Sometimes I'm, I don't know, where did you come from? It sounds like fun. Uh, it's a primer that helps your lashes to grow. Uh, pro vitamin B5, peptides, and hyaluronic acid. So I'm, yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. I, yeah, I'm, I'll give it a go. <laughs> uh, L'Oreal False Lash Architect Four Dimensions Effect Fibers Black Lacquer. I don't know. Uh, Bobbi Brown Intensifying Longwear Mascara. I'm going to hold on to that. Uh, the Lash Sensational Mascara. I really like this mascara, by the way. Um, so I am going to hold on to that. This one is the Longcom Hypno Star. I'd like to try this. Um, I bought it, never got around to it. <clears throat> oh, this Blink Mascara. Um, was it this one? This is one of those tubing mascaras, so uh, you apply it and essentially it's kind of waterproof. It can get wet and if you don't touch your lashes and allow them to dry, it will shrink back over your lashes. Um, but if you, if, when you want to remove it, you just damp, dampen your lashes and like it slides off. Um, now, I can't remember if I've tried this and liked it. I know I've tried the Estee, was it Estee Lauder? Yeah, I think it was Estee Lauder or maybe it was Clinique. I don't know. I tried one of those brands. Um, loved the mascara. Absolute favourite. Um, I think I've tried a sample of this and I liked it. Can't remember. Anyway, I'm going to hold on to it just in case. Um, <clears throat> this is a W7 Big Lash Mascara. I actually want to do a full face look using just W7 products. I'm very curious to try them, so I am going to hold on to that for the time being. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Face of Australia Impact Curl Extreme Volume and Curl Mascara and L'Oreal Double Extension Beauty Tubes. I don't... don't know. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I haven't used a lot of Face of Australia stuff. I don't even know if their stuff is good. How am I going to know if I don't try it out? Alright, I'm just going to keep... Oh, crap. I've literally got rid of, like, one new mascara. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep them. I don't care. It's, it's not a big deal. Mascara should be thrown out regularly, so... Yeah, that's... that's it is what it is. Alright, let's wrap this up with some brow products. So, what have I got? What have I got? What have we got? Alright, so these look like all of my little pencil-y nudes. Um, I've got two MAC eyebrows. They're just called eyebrows in Fling and Lingering. Um, love these. Love them, love them, love them. They are so thin and precise. But my god, they are expensive. Um, but I love them. I'm keeping them, obviously. Uh, this is... Actually, I have three. So, let's just be real. These are actually Avon products, alright? Um, now, these were also given to me by a friend who does the Avons. Um, and, to be honest... Uh, these two, I quite like. This one, not so much. So this one is a very warm brown colour. Uh, it's got a lot of like orange undertones under there. It's a not, it's not my favourite. The colour's just not right for me, basically. So I'm going to get rid of that. But, these two, now these are the Glimmer Sticks Brow Definers. I have, uh... This shade here, which is a little dark for me. I can put it in the tail. It's fine. It's not not too bad. 
um, it's that one is dark brown and then I have uh, what color are you blonde this shade I freaking love so it's like a kind of a light taupey color um, I freaking love it and you know what's cool about this formula it's really waxy so it holds your brow hairs in place um, I really like these. I am going to use them. I'm going to continue to use them. Very happy. Uh, this one is the Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. This really is not, it's not universal. It's, I wish it was, but it's not. Um, it looks quite cool there, but when it goes on my brows, it looks quite warm. I am trying to pan this at the moment but there's a lot in there I can only use a very small amount of product um, but I work on it you know a few times a week I pull it out and I give it a go so I'm gonna pan it that one um, I'm definitely gonna pan it uh, this this is new where did I get this it was in the uh, the lucky box the Beautylish lucky box um, and it is the IT Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. The word universal and brow kind of freaks me out. Like, I'm not going to lie. I've had some bad experiences. Uh, so, let's, let's see. Oh, wow. This is like, this is hard. This is, this is hard. And it kind of looks green to me. <laughs> not really. Um, I, look, I'm going to give it a go. I mean, it's it cosmetics. This stuff is technically expensive in Australia. Um, so I'm going to give it a try um, before I totally just give it the arse. So I'll hold on to that. Um, Alright, let's look at these. These are brow mascaras or setting gels. Um, Alright. Billion Dollar Brows. This, look, this is almost finished. I think I'd like to try and pan this. Um, it's looking a bit gungy, but I think I'd like to try and pan it. Uh, the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. I don't know why they called this a plumper. It doesn't plump shit. Uh, haven't used it much. Don't mind it. Would like to continue using it. This is a Brow Drama by Maybelline. Once you cut that ball off, it is fabulous. So I am keeping that. I like it. This one is, I love this. Um, this was by uh, The Face Shop. It's got a little moustache on there. I love it. Uh, and it's called Colour My Eyebrow. I think the only issue I have with this is the wand. Um, it goes from like sort of a fat wand to a thin wand um, and I don't know sometimes in the morning I'm still half asleep and I haven't had enough coffee and I don't know what I'm doing and I have trouble with it but otherwise it's a good product um, this one this one is Rimmel Brow This Way it's, it's actually a really good color for me um, yeah, I'm going to hold on to both of them, play with them a little bit more. This one is Clinique. I love this stuff. This is the, I have no idea, something browsing. Uh, just browsing, I think. It's a little brow brow gel. Look at that, it's bowly. It's perfect. Um, I love this stuff. It's fantastic. I got it just earlier this year um, at the... It's a lot of corporate store, so I'm going to hold on to that. Um, Alright, we're, we're getting close. We're getting very close to the end. It is exciting. I have palettes. Um, first, I should probably talk about these. Anastasia Brow Gels. I have taupe and I have ash brown. Um, I like them both. I do feel like they can be a little bit difficult to work with. Um, they require some serious like you know I definitely need to finish my coffee before I start going in with these essentially um, but I like them I'm gonna keep them and now palettes let me see um, 
I like this one. This is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Genius Kit. This is beautiful. Really nice colour for me. Um, nice ashy blonde. It's got the little... There's a little a like um, angled brush and spoolie in there. Probably one of the only times where I think a brush in a palette is not a piece of crap. Um, I actually, I use that brush, I like it. There's also a tiny pair of tweezers, which is just the most adorable thing ever. I really like that. Keeping it. Um, brow bar to go. Whitening Lightning. Now, you guys know who Whitening Lightning is, don't you? Of course you do. Alright, so I actually, I quite like this as well, I won't lie. The brush, not so much. Um, but you've got two tones of the coloured brow powder and then you have a like a setting wax. Um, I really like it. I am going to continue to use it. This one is the Face of Australia High Definition Brow Kit. I'm not sure if I've used this. No, I have not. Oh, it comes with tweezers too. How cute. Jesus, I'll never, you know, never be short of a pair of tweezers. Um, <clears throat> haven't tried it. I'm going to try it. Yes, I am. I'm going to hold on to it and I'm going to try it. So, this one is the High Impact Brows Eye and Brow Perfector. I believe I got this out of a Look Fantastic box. I think I swatched it but never played with it. Come on. Alright, sorry. There we have that. Um, let me see. Oh, these feel really soft. Yeah, I think I'll um, I'll give that a go. Yeah, I'll definitely give it a go. Can't have to try. And finally, last item, guys. I can tell you right now, I'm not getting rid of this. Uh, this is the Christian Brow Palette. So this is like. It's everything. It's everything you could need to do any type of brow. Uh, there are brow stencils in there. The idea with the Christian brow things is that they're waterproof. Basically, you put them on, you can go swimming, you can go in the shower. When that bastard wants to take you to the beach on a first date, you know, these are, these are your friends. Um, I really like these. They are very good for bridal work. Um, but I do use them on myself as well on the rare occasion which is why they were in my personal stash um, but this is yeah mostly like a, a freelance kind of thing um, yeah keeping that great palette if you ever um, if you're ever at a trade show and you see see these available don't be shy they they're a bit pricey I'll definitely admit that but very much worth it all right we are done and here are my 17 17 items that I am getting rid of I think I did very well um, I'm I'm okay with getting rid of this stuff that's all right I am a little bit sad about the um, cake liner I will definitely admit that but I do have a cake liner in my kit so you know, I can't really, I can't, it, I can't justify keeping two because they last forever um, and, you know, I'm just, I'm not likely to use it often enough to ever need more than one. Um, if you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I hope you are enjoying the KonMari series. I hope you are enjoying the cosmetics part of the KonMari series. I am really enjoying it. This is fun. I could see myself sitting down maybe once a year and going through my makeup and doing this. Um, it's it's kind of nice. I like it. It's a good good opportunity to get reacquainted with what you have in your stash and also I find that when I take things out of my drawers um, I can clean them out put everything back in all organized and beautiful and it's really nice I like it I'm glad I did this um, 
so I think that's it guys I'm gonna head off it's getting late it's cold my legs hurt from sitting cross-legged on this floor uh, and I'm I'm getting messages so I'm going thanks for watching guys until next time